Okay, we're, we're back. Show you guys where we are. I wanted to uh, bring you up to speed before we went too far. And I did run into quite a few problems, which is why I was not able to repost as quick as I would like to have. Uh, as you can see, we've got the car completely in 2K epoxy primer. There's no more bare metal, except for what I'm having to work. Um, the entire car is coated now. Uh, the problem that we ran into was on the passenger side. As I said before, the uh, I was very hopeful on the bodywork. I did the best I could, but of course I ran into some problems once I got it in primer and could see some things. Um, the uh, front fender here needed more work. Also, along the front here, this front apron, there was quite a bit of, uh, I don't know what do you want to call it, waves or whatever underneath there that had to be filled and worked. Also, this back quarter panel. I'll see if I can get close to it. It's uh, interesting because the driver's side was just, just turned out beautifully. Didn't really see any problems over there. As you can see, I've got a high spot right there, down low there, and I believe it's part of the seam from our patch panel. And um, I've had to do some research on that because I don't think I can fill that area enough to be able to, not to make it look right. And anyway, apparently, uh, hopefully I can take a hammer and tap that down. We're gonna try that next and see if we can get that down to where it should be and, and take it from there. Wanted to get that done. The next step, of course, will be the uh, the uh, filler filler primer, and then uh, block sanding that. So we're getting closer to paint, but it is uh, still a lot of work away. We've got everything else covered. You can see the engine compartment has turned out really nice. The repair that we made down there practically invisible. The driver's side, well, I can't get a good shot here, but uh, it's turned out really nice. Uh, I still have to block down low on the panel, down around the corner of the jam there. But I have went over it with my hand. I, I'm pretty sure we've got that pretty good. That's not gonna require maybe some glazing putty. We'll see. Anyway, we did run into uh, a problem with our seats. Our seat install that came back to bite us and as you can see I had to go ahead in order to get this right and uh, remove the bottom frame and take all the upholstery off which really if I had done that to begin with I would have saved myself a lot of grief but I didn't do it because I was thinking well the seat covers are in good shape they're not bad maybe a little touch up you know and it'd be all right I won't have to buy new new covers but that actually really wouldn't have happened anyway because uh, all of the foam on the inside was dry rotted out. There was a lot of rust all over the frames and springs and everything. As you can see, I've removed them and uh, removed all that and cleaned them up, got the rust off, coated them with a the rust proofing and then painted them. So they're ready for new foam and everything, which I'll probably wind up taking those to an upholstery shop when the time comes and having them just redo it but it had to be done anyway and i could have got this seat thing straight from the beginning if i had just done that but again i was thinking to try to save it so the driver's side went in fine that worked uh, got that in but the passenger side not so much the passenger side has been a bear and uh, in fact i've had to go ahead and remove the floor rail because it's going to have to be repositioned it was that far off and don't ask me how but it was so this is the top rail that slides into that bottom rail and you can see where i've drilled out the spot welds to get it off and this, it sits along here this frame here so i have to put that in in the right position and reinstall it with the floor rail in the correct position and it, again it wasn't off by much but it was off enough to cause a lot of problems 
So oh, fortunately I was able to get the floor rail out without damaging the floor pan or anything like that. So that was good. We caught a break on that. But again, it's one of those deals where if you had just known in advance, if you can see, I'll show you the seat cushion material. If you can see it over here, it is in bad shape. It literally is just falling apart inside there and it was all rusted up. So hopefully we'll get that worked out before the next video and then also as well I wanted to uh, if you remember we had some I'll go over this a little bit here I don't know if you can see them we have some broken screws in the door jams on both sides I bought a uh, screw extractor set which was recommended and it worked pretty good uh, I'd say out of the five that were broken off in there it removed three of them quite handily so I was very impressed with that. But I've still got two in there that are going to have to be drilled out and helicoiled. So I've already bought the correct helicoil set for that. It's mostly here on the driver's side. I think I have one over there. And uh, we'll get that straightened out. I want to I want to get these, these, these issues fixed and taken care of before I put it in the uh, filler primer. So I don't have to, once it's the car's painted and all that, I don't have to go in here and start drilling around on things and trying to fix old issues that should have been taken care of. So that'll be the next step. We'll do the, get this down, uh, get the seats taken care of, and then uh, we'll block sand this completely down and, and then uh, shoot it with the filler primer. I'll probably do another video before I actually do that. And then I believe it's block sanding and then uh, urethane primer and then more sanding and then finally the, uh, the paint. So the plan is, is once the car, the body is in paint, we're going to move the car outside. Uh, I can cover it up and free up my garage in order to be able to um, work on the doors and the hood and the trunk. So you can see I've got those hanging on the wall back here because there's just not enough room in here to do all that. So once the car is in paint, move it outside and then we can work on the doors and so forth. Also, I want to get the car off of the dolly back on its own wheels before we go to installing the doors and, um, and those things to make sure that the body is fitting and sitting the way it's supposed to be once it's, once it's down. So that's where we are. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, um, you know, let me know. Always appreciate that, and I appreciate you subscribing. And um, if you have any, like I said, any suggestions or ideas, um, especially when it comes to that high spot over there, if you've had some kind of issue like that yourself, I, I do. I still do. Like I said, I have to block that down over there, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. So. Um, that's where we are for now and as soon as i get this thing going a little better I, it like i said it's been slow and i kept running into problems and the, the, it's been brutally hot and i gotta be honest with you some days i get up and i'm like i should go out and work on the car today and i walk out the door and i feel that muggy heat and it's like yeah maybe i'll wait so <laughs> so i apologize for that so uh, thanks for watching i really appreciate it and we'll see you next time